everybody, Eric here from Around To It Videos, and today we're going to talk about the chroma key effect, or more known as the green screen effect for your videos. And we're doing it right now, as you can see in the background, and I can turn that off just this quick. There's the green screen. Back on. It's just that easy. And by the end of the video, you'll be able to do it that quick also. But for now, let's go ahead and look at my setup out here in my studio, and then we'll go on the computer and I'll show you how to master that effect with MovieEdit Pro. All right, this is a basic setup for doing the chroma key effect or green screen with your videos. Now, as you notice, these are some of the things that you're gonna need. For one, I would suggest buying a tripod. I paid about $20 for that tripod. It's a good one. Got it from Best Buy. It's, I'm getting my money out of it, trust me. Get a tripod. All right, now for your lighting. You can go several different routes. I went the low budget route. That is just a couple of halogen lights on a stand. Although it looks expensive, I paid about 20 bucks for it at the local hardware store. And there's even some other lighting that you can use. I use this for spotlighting. This is just a simple spotlight with a regular bulb in it. Cost about six bucks. The bulbs are very cheap and uh, I use that for like just a spotlight on me if I need it. Also, you need light on your green screen. Now see, in the upper corners, if you have time for this, if you don't, try and work it out as best you can with a light stand, but make that background as lit, well lit as possible. That's what I'm using those halogen lights for up there. That is one of the key effects to doing a very good chroma key video, lighting. If your lighting's bad, your chroma key effect's gonna be bad. But anyway, that's the lighting right there, the tripod. My green screen is actually a green fabric that I bought from a local fabric store. It's just a true green color. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, I, and I got enough just to cover my wall. That's all I did. Now, you can go buy the, the, uh, the green screens. Uh, they cost a lot more. Uh, I'm not going to knock them. I just went this route because it was a little bit cheaper for me. All right, there's your basic setup to do the green screen effect for your videos. Let's get on the computer and I'll show you how to do it with Movie Edit Pro. So, with Movie Edit Pro open in the timeline mode, you're going to go up to your tabs here and select the import tab, navigate to the folder that has your video files in it select that video and put it on track 2 let it go and for this particular tutorial I'm going to be using the same video that you just saw with the video on track 2 now we're going to go up to the tabs again we're going to select the effects tab under the effects tab we're going to select video effects and then under video effects we're going to select chroma key now as you as you see here in the chroma key folder you have hide colors green blue water alpha black and white for this presentation we're going to do green now you don't necessarily have to always chroma key chroma key blah blah with green you can do blue or white or you can select your color I always use green because green works best with skin tone colors it is the most opposite color that you can get versus the skin tone colors and will make a very good chroma key video so now let's click green we've now applied the chroma key green screen option to that video and as you see everything that was green in the video just went black why did it go black because we keyed it out that's what chroma keying does now for track one we need to put in a background visual so I'm going to go to visuals which is just a sound visual here in Movie Edit Pro. You can actually use anything you want. I'm going to use one of these just to show you how this works. You put it on track one, and then there you go. Look at the video playing. Or, more known as, the green screen effect for your videos. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now, let me show you how to tweak this just a little bit. Let's go back up. Let's make sure we're highlighting the video that we have the chroma key effect on, on track two. Left click on it to highlight it. Go back up to the effects tab. 
we're going to click on the chroma key options again and then we're going to look at it a little bit closer now you see the threshold and the fading ranges have a little slider bar right there now by default movie edit pro will automatically select the best choices for your threshold and fading ranges that it can that it can see you may need to tweak this a little bit yourself normally movie edit pro will do a good job I always like to play around with it to see if I can get it just a little bit better but let me show you what happens when you play around with it just to show you how this works let's click on the threshold and drag it around see what it's doing it's it's keying in or out the green color more or less and the same goes with the fading range by working these threshold and fading ranges together you'll get a perfect or near perfect chroma key video with movie edit pro now all you have to do is figure out what you're going to do with this chroma keying effect since you've got it I give you the basic idea you run with it you come up with something great I'd really like to see some video responses to this to show me what you come up with but there it is in a nutshell there's the chroma key effect with movie edit pro for version 15 and if you want to see what the uh, chroma key effect is for version 14 below it will be a video response to this tutorial as always please remember to rate comment and subscribe to support my videos here on YouTube and thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you later bye bye Drops and everything and the lighting kits <coughs>